Hey guys, it's Michael from GuitarGate.com and uh, I want to talk to you today about a way to make your acoustic guitar sound more percussive, more like a drum and give it some more definition. And this is something I call the flick where literally you're holding chords in your fretting hand and you're flicking the chunky part of the chord with your right hand or if you're left handed to the other hand, right? So instead of using your pick or using your fingers and you're just strumming. Even if you strum really hard, you don't really get that clear definition um, rhythmically like you do with uh, a bass and drum sound where it's, you know, it's very much um, a deeper, more focused push, a more percussive groove, right? Uh, you're kind of relying on other instruments for that. But if you play a lot of solo acoustic guitar, or even in duos or situations like that, to be able to get, you know, that sound of the kick and snare is really, really cool, and it'll really make you stand out um, because not many people, not many people really play like this too much, and so it's uh, really going to make your sound pop. Now the way to do this is literally, you hold a chord and you flick it, just like you would flick anything. You flick the strings. Now you're only going to be able to get about two to three strings when you flick. So what you want to shoot for is the middle part of the guitar, so from the fifth string to the third string, um, or fourth string to the second string, wherever you think that triad is in the chord. What that's going to do is it's going to leave your thumb available to play bass notes, and it's going to allow the top string or two to kind of be available if you want to with another finger or with the finger you're flicking with to grab either some melody lines or some ornamentation on top. Here's what I mean. Let's say I'm just doing an E major chord, right? If I go... Now I'm not muting the strings, so this has the most open, bright sound, right? And I'm just going with a thumb on the sixth string and I'm flicking the middle three strings, and I'm not even really messing with the top two strings yet, right? If I want to make this more percussive, right, I can mute with the palm of my flicking hand, right? That really sounds like kick, snare, kick, snare on the drums, right? This is a very good technique to use to make a clear difference between, say, a verse and a chorus. You know, maybe have that be your verse, and then when it goes into the chorus. You know, it's very obvious. It really creates different parts, uh, pretty akin to the way the drummer would have a closed hi-hat and a quieter sound to an open hi-hat and a larger sound. Same basic uh, timbre concept. Now, another thing to work on is with your thumb, do some alternating bass notes, right? So if you're an E, maybe go root, fifth, root, fifth, and add in the flick. Right? And switch chords. Here I'm doing a little embellishment in there, and literally what I'm doing is I'm flicking down, and on the way back up, I hit something. You know, the, the more you do this, the more focused you can get, but I'm not thinking too hard about it unless I'm trying to achieve a specific melody. And there's lots of examples which we'll get to down the line of songs where it makes sense to kind of do that. Uh, one other thing to note is this is not something that you can just play with open chords. You can play this anywhere to get that sound. So up the neck, you know. And that's the flick. So give it a try, um, and it'll really change the way you approach uh, acoustic guitar, especially if you do a lot of finger picking, because it's going to give you a whole new percussive sound and approach, uh, which is going to open up so many more options for you.
So if you like this video series, um, please subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. And uh, if you have any lessons or any questions, uh, suggestions, please go ahead and drop those in the comments. And if you haven't gone and checked us out at guitargate.com yet, please do that as well. I'll see you in the next one.